Good morning students. In our last video, we have studied about PPC curve, right? How to draw a PPC curve. So this is your PPC curve. In a x axis, we are having butter and in the y axis, we are having guns. And we have plotted different combinations of PPC curve. Is it clear? Now, let me tell you some points in this PPC curve. This point A, B, C, D, E and F. The points which are on the PPC curve, it symbolizes that it is fuller utilization of resources. Means you are utilizing the resources completely. And it is also called as attainable combinations. Attainable combinations means you can attain these combinations. Is it clear? All the points on the PPC curve A, B, C, D, E, F are attainable combinations and full utilization of resources. Next, you are seeing some points inside the PPC curve G and H, right? This G and H are attainable combinations. We can attain these combinations, but here we are not using the resources completely. Because we are not using the resources completely, it is lying inside the PPC curve. If you have 100 rupees from home, if you have 100 rupees from home, then it is made in the PPC curve. If you have 100 rupees from home, then it is made in the PPC curve. What do you do? You have to do your own. But you have not utilized the resources completely. That is why you have to do it inside. So G and H are attainable combinations but inefficient or under utilization of resources. Is it clear? G and H are the point that is called as inefficient or under utilization of resources. Next is your point I. The point which lies outside the PPC curve. Which lies outside the PPC curve is non-attainable combination because you don't have that much of resources and that much technology to acquire these commodity. Suppose I have said that you have to get 100 rupees from home. Now, if you want to buy 120 rupees from home, is it possible? No. Means you cannot attain those because your resources are limited. Your resources are scarce. Is it clear? You have understood this point? A, B, C, D, E and F are attainable and full utilization of resources. G and H are attainable but that is inefficient or unutilization of resources. And point I is your uh, resources are limited. You cannot attain those points. That is non-attainable combination. Is it clear? Now let's study about some of the problems with the help of this PPC curve. Okay. The first problem is problem of scarcity. Problem of scarcity. This point I denotes the problem of scarcity. It means your resources are limited. Your resources are scarce. You did not, cannot attain this problem combination okay that is why it is called as problem of scarcity so point i is your problem of scarcity next is problem of choice what do you mean by problem of choice we have several combinations on the ppc curve a b c d c e b c b a f so you have to choose which will be your Going for, suppose you have to choose between C and E. Either you will go for C or you will go for E. So that is problem of choice. Means which combination of the goods and services you are going for. Okay, that is problem of choice. And that should be your full utilization of resources. Where the resources are fully utilized or the points are on the PPC. 
so we have five or six different points a b c d e and f so you have to choose among them ki aap kaun se point ko loge next is your problem of what to produce problem of what to produce means suppose in this point point b you are seeing 14 units of guns are produced and only one units of butter is produced okay and on the other hand in this point e five units of your guns are produced and four units of butter are produced so you will decide you will be going for either more butter or more guns so according to that you will choose ki kaun se point mein agar mere ko suppose butter zyada chahiye aur guns kam chahiye to i will decide ki i will go for which point jahan pe butter zyada ho aur guns kam ho is it clear next is problem of fuller utilization of resources maine aapko pehle hi bataya ye jitna bhi points ppc pe hai ये शो करता है कि आपका रिसोर्सेज जो है वो फुल्ली यूटिलाइज है इज इट क्लियर सो दिस आर दी फुल यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेज ये वाला जो पॉइंट है जी और एच ये आपको शो कर रहा है कि आपने आपका रिसोर्सेज को पूरा यूटिलाइज नहीं किया है यू हैव नॉट यूज योर रिसोर्सेज कंप्लीटली दिस शोज दी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ फुल यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेज Next is your problem of economic growth. If there is growth in an economy, please listen to it. If there is growth in an economy, your PPC will shift towards right. This will be your new PPC curve. Is it clear? Because if there is a growth in an economy, resources will also increase. As well as the technologies will also increase, then your PPC will shift towards right. This is the problem of economic growth. Hope this is clear to you all. All the five problems, whatever problems you are writing, you have to draw the PPC curve and show the correct points with the explanation. Is it clear? So. problem of scarcity problem of choice problem of what to produce problem of full and uh, fuller and efficient utilization of resources and problem of economic growth these are the five problems and i have explained you all with the ppc curve hope it is clear to you all thank you